Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carly, so welcome. Today, I'm going to be trying on a full face of Glossier makeup for y'all. Some of this makeup I just got in the mail. Some of it's new and I've never tried it before. The other stuff I've had for a while and I've just kind of collected. The first time I got Glossier makeup was when I filmed my last video and it will be linked either up here or up here. I'm not sure. I've collected enough Glossier makeup to have enough for a full face. So today, I'm just going to try on a full face of Glossier makeup for you and give my thoughts on it and my my thoughts on the new products I got. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, so I just took off all my makeup. Sorry, I'm looking a little rough because I just now took it off and then I put my hair up. First product I want to talk to you all about is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Obviously, I'm not actually going to try that on, but I just want to tell you all about it. I got this for Christmas actually this year and I really enjoy it. Um, it's very moisturizing. It doesn't leave your skin dry after you use it. So I really do suggest this. The only con about it is that it's a little bit of a small bottle. Like the largest choice is still a little bit small. The smell is more on the neutral side. The second product I have and the first product I'm actually going to try on is the Glossier Balm.com. I have four of them in mango, mint, berry, and birthday cake. I really, really love the Balm.coms. They are like my favorite chapstick. I use them every day. They smell amazing, especially the mint one. The mint one is my personal favorite. I got these three actually for Christmas and I've had this one for a while. And so I've kind of built up my collection a little bit. I'm actually going to put the mint one on today. It adds a really nice shine to your lips while keeping them moisturized. And so I really like these. They're probably one of my favorite Glossier products but that's kind of hard to choose between because I love all their products. So my next product is the Stretch Concealer in the shade Medium. I've actually had this since I did my very first Glossier video so I've had it for the longest time out of most of the products. This product is very good and the only reason why I don't use it as much as I feel like I should is because of the shade. My concealer color changes bearing on whether it's summer or winter. So this is a little darker than um, I would usually wear in the winter. So I usually only wear it in the summer. So we are gonna hope that it works right now. I'm gonna apply that. I usually just apply it with my fingers. That works the best because that's how you get the most coverage I feel like with it. This is not the best shade match for me right now, but as I get tanner during the summer, it's going to be a lot better. Next product I have, I've had again since my last Glossier video, is the Wouter. I actually am not going to lie, I don't use this product that much. It's just super hard to get it out of the applicator. It's a good powder otherwise, but it's just hard because of that. So I'm just going to pat this under my eyes. So I am done applying the powder. Honestly, it does the job, but I don't think it's anything special. I feel like you could get just as good of a powder from like Maybelline or something like that. The next product I have is the Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. It's a liquid blush. It looks like a really tiny tube, but with this product, a little goes such a long way. I've had this since June and I barely made that much of a dent in it and I use it all the time. I just apply this with my fingers and you really don't need that much. I usually just get like maybe this much although that's a little bit much as well I just apply that all over my cheeks all right so as you can see this pod paint gives such a pretty flush to the face it looks really natural I really really like this the next product I have to test out is actually one of the new products that I just got in the mail today it's the halo scope highlighter in the shade quartz and sorry nothing will focus today so I'm just gonna open it on up here is what it looks like here it is and here is what the top looks like. It's a cream highlighter. I've heard pretty good things about this. It's just supposed to give you a nice natural glow, nothing too bold, and that's what I've been liking lately. I don't really like bold highlighters as much anymore, only for special occasions, and so I'm really excited to try this. And so I think I'm just going to apply this with my finger. I applied a highlighter to my cheekbones, my nose, and my brow bones. I honestly really, really like it. Like I said, I don't really like the bold highlighters anymore. I kind of like the natural glow, and so this product is really good for that. It's a little bit sticky, but that doesn't bother me. It may bother some people, and I honestly really like it, and I think this will become a new staple in my makeup routine. The next product I have to try out is actually another new product. It is the Sky Wash, and I got it in the shade Valley. It's a liquid eyeshadow that goes all over your lid. This looks fascinating to me because it also looks very natural and it looks like something that would be easy to put on on a daily basis when you didn't want to do anything too bold for to your eyes. It's actually, I think, their newest product and so I'm just going to try it out. Here is the Sky 
wash all blended in and I'm not gonna lie this is honestly not my favorite product that I've ever tried from them I just don't think it's worth the price tag I feel like you have to use a lot to get it to this point and when you try and blend it in it just kind of like disappears I feel like you can find way cheaper alternatives for something like this I will still continue to use it because I did buy it and I want to get use out of it I'm just saying there might be better options out there for something along these lines all right so this next product is probably my favorite Glossier product of all time it is the Glossier boy brow I just got one of these for Christmas and I used it up that fast that's the only con about it is that it's kind of a small container and you kind of run out of it fast but it is so worth it literally it has changed the way I do my brows forever I used to not do anything to my brows and I just did clear brow gel on them but adding this to my makeup routine is such a game changer for my brows I don't know I just feel like it ties together my looks it just defines your brows and makes them a little darker and it makes them look better so yeah I got mine in the shade blonde So once again, the next product is a brand new product that I have never tried before, and it is the Lash Slick Mascara. I was very curious about this, and I kind of hesitated to buy it because I have my staple mascara that I've used for years. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I really have heard good things about this. The wand looks like this, so let's just try it on. extremely pleasantly surprised by this mascara. I really like it. I usually don't like mascaras that I try, like any of them, like high-end or drugstore. I usually just stick to my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It makes your lashes look long. I think this is gonna be one of my new go-to mascaras. So the last product I have is the famous Glossier Lip Gloss. I've had the clear one since I did my last video on Glossier, and this one I actually got for Christmas, and it's their holographic lip gloss. This was the original shade, and then they added a red shade and a holographic shade. It makes your lips look like glass. It's like a little bit sticky, but not like in a bad way. So I'm going to actually go in with the holographic lip gloss today. All right, so that is all of the products I have to try on today. So here is the full face of Glossier Makeup. So I just wanna do kind of a little bit of a recap on the products we went over. I'm gonna show you all my three favorite products from the entire brand once more. My top favorite product, like I said, is the Glossier Boy Brow. It creates very effortless brows, makes it really easy to get ready. It takes me literally like a minute to do my brows with this, and I just really like the way it makes me look. One of the other of my favorite products is the Glossier Balm.com. It's my favorite chapstick. I have it smells super good. It makes your lips look pretty. It's just a very good product all around. My third favorite product is the Glossier Lip Gloss in any shade. It makes your lips look perfect, not too sticky. It's very, very good. And these actually, surprisingly, are all some of the cheapest products on the website. Now I'm going to show you all some of my least favorite products in the brand. These products aren't bad in any sense. They're just not my favorite. So the first product that is good, but I don't think is a must-have, is the Wowder. I feel like any other powder could do the same job this powder does. And and it's just extremely hard to work with getting it out of the container on the bottom. It's good, like I said, but I wouldn't spend any extra money on this product. The last product that I wouldn't go out of your way to spend money on is actually one of the, our new products that I tried today, and it's the Sky Wash. I'm actually really disappointed that I didn't like this as much as I thought I would. I don't know. It's just not anything great. When you put it on your eyes, it is very sheer, really hard to build it up. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's very patchy looking on my eyes. Definitely not worth how much it is. You have to use a lot of it to get it to this point. I just want to say I love this brand so much. It's probably one of my favorite makeup brands. So if you want to try any Glossier products, I would definitely go for it. And I think it's worth it. I mean, it's a little more expensive, but it's not too, too bad. Here is the full face. I use so many Glossier products on the daily basis. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if y'all would like to see more makeup videos testing out makeup products let me know I just need some video ideas if you got to this point in the video comment down below a butterfly emoji I just want to see who watches till the end thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye